Good day everyone! For today's video, I am going to discuss the qualitative characteristics, orientation, type, and magnification of images formed by lenses. Our objectives for today, we are going to define the lenses, what are the kinds of lenses, and what are the images formed in lenses. Last time, we have discussed the qualitative characteristics of a mirror. And now, we are going to use lenses. Class, nakakita na po ba kayo ng lens? So, when we see lenses, it is an optical device which is made of transparent material which bends light. So, when we say bending of light, this is what we call refraction of light. Di ba po, if natatandaan nyo pa yung idiniscuss ko last time about sa mirror, yun po ay bouncing back of light. This time, sa lenses naman ay bending of a light. Please take note of that. So, ano po ba yung example ng mga lenses? So, wag na tayong lumayo. Ano po? Ang very example nito is yung mata natin. Kaya po may mga tinatawag na contact lens. Ano po? Because our eyes has a lens. What are the kinds of lenses? So, we have here the two kinds of lenses. The converging lens and diverging lens. So, what is converging lens? Converging lens is a convex and is thicker at the middle. Kung mapapansin nyo dito na, thicker part ng lens ay sa middle than at the edge. And it converges light that passes through it at a particular point called the focal point or the focus. Next, so when we say diverging lens, it is concave. And it is thicker at the edge. Dito na, sa edge yung thicker than at the middle. Ang convex lens at concave lens, meron po siyang iba't ibang shape. For example, under converging lens, we have biconvex, planoconvex lens, and positive meniscus. And under diverging lenses, we have biconcave lens, planoconcave lens, and negative meniscus. And now, what are the differences between mirrors and lenses? Mirror has one focal point, while lenses has two focal point. Mirror exhibits reflection of light, while lenses exhibit refraction of light. Again, kung mapapansin nyo sa mirror na, iisa lang ang focal point. At nag -e exhibit po ito ng reflection of light. So, sa lenses naman, may two focal point. Kung titingnan nyo dito sa image na, may 2F o yung twice ng focal point. And we have one F point here. And sa side naman, merong second focal point at 2F2. Bakit po naglalagay ng 1 or 2 sa tabi ng 2F? Ito ay para i-represent yung image para hindi nakakalito. Meron tayong curved mirrors and lenses. Huwag na huwag tayong malilito na ka. Kapag po concave mirror, eto siya. At merong converging of light na nangyayari. Kapag ka naman sa lenses, kung mapapansin nyo, yung definition ni converging mirror ay nakay convex lens. Kung makikita nyo na magpa-pass through kay lenses, tapos dito naman siya sa focal point or dito sila magko-converge. Kung yung observe nyo ng maigi, yung converging ng point nila ay pareho. Pero sa mirror, under concave mirror. While sa lenses, under convex lens. Sa convex naman, ano po, convex mirror, kung mapapansin nyo, may light na tatama sa mirror, pero magda-diverge o nadi-diffuse yung light. Sa lenses naman, ang diverging lens natin ay yung concave lens. Kung makikita ninyo, may tatama ditong light at magda-diverge siya papunta doon. And 
huwag kakalimutan na palaging mag-extend. Next is how are images formed in convex lenses. So we have the light ray rule for spherical lenses. So we have here the converging or convex lens. So tatama na yung light kay lens and mapupunta dito. Ayan. At kung mapapansin nyo, doon po sila nag-converge sa point na yon. Next, we are going to use a ray diagram for image formation in lenses. So, let us draw a principal axis. As you can see, meron tayong optical center. And so, pag-draw natin, maglalagay lang tayo ng every two points. So, ito yung ating magiging ray diagram. We have the optical center. We have the principal foci. Since dalawa yung focal point natin. Pero kung mag-isa lang ang tawag natin doon ay focus. And also, we have the convex lens. Light ray rule for convex lens. Rule 1. Ray 1, or the PF ray, yung P, it represents the principal axis, and F is the focus. There is an incident ray parallel to the principal axis and is refracted through the focus. We use F to anak to represent the focus kasi nasa kabila siya ng convex lens. The second rule, the ray 2 or the V-ray is an incident ray along the secondary axis which is not appreciably refracted as it passes through the optical center or also known as the vertex of the lens. Ito yung second ray natin na dadaan sa vertex or optical center. So, ito yung kabuuan ng light ray rule for convex lens, yung ray 1 and ray 2. Let's try na sa case number 1, wherein the object is beyond 2F1. Next is meron tayong incident ray, parallel to the principal axis, at magpapass through kay focus. Sa ray 2 naman, ay diretso lang siya. And now, saan nagkaroon ng intersection? Dito, di ba? And again, kung nasaan ang intersection, doon mabubuo ang image. Next, is ano yung properties ng image na nakita natin? So, we have what we called lost. L stands for the location of an image that may fall at points identified along the principal axis such as at the focus, at twice the focus, between F and 2F, pwede namang between F and vertex, or beyond 2F. Next is O. O stands for orientation of images. It may be inverted or upright or erect. So ano yung size ng image? Pwede siyang diminished or reduced? Enlarge or same size. Next is yung type ng image. It can be virtual image wherein the image formed by a lens is on the same side as object. Or real image wherein the image formed is on the other side of the lens. And tandaan natin na madali lang malaman if ang image ay real or virtual. When we say real image, the image is always inverted or pabaliktad at virtual naman ay palaging upright. And now let us identify the properties of an image. As you can see, nalocate ang image between F2 and 2F2. Ano yung kanyang orientation? Inverted or upright yung image? So the answer is inverted. Ano naman ang kanyang size? Is it reduced o maliit ang image kaysa sa object? Enlarge ba o mas malaki ang image kaysa sa object? O same size lang ng object? The answer is reduced or diminished. Ano naman yung type ng image? Is it real or virtual? So ito ay isang real dahil ang image na naformed ay inverted. Next is case number 2. 
This is when an object is at 2 F1. Again, same steps lang. Dalawang rules lang po iyon. So, panoorin ito ng mabuti. The incident ray will pass through the focus. That is the F2. Ano po? Next is the second ray na magpa-pass through kay optical center or the vertex. So, nasaan nagkaroon ng intersection? Kitang-kita po anak na nabuo yung image sa tapat ng 2F2. So, ano yung lost o properties ng image? Location ng image ay nasa 2F2. Ang orientation ay inverted. Ang size natin dito, ang size nila ay same. At ang type ng image ay real since inverted yung image na na-formed. Next, ang object natin ay nasa between F1 and 2F1. Again, same steps lang. So, panoorin po ng mabuti. As you can see, anak, merong nag-intersect. Therefore, nandito yung image natin. So, let us know the properties of an image. The location of an image ay nasa beyond 2F2. Ang orientation ay inverted. Ang size naman ay enlarged. At ang type ng image ay real. Ang next case natin is what if the object is at F1. Gawin ulit natin yung rule 1 and rule 2. Kung mapapansin nyo, walang nag-intersect. So, we have to extend. And since wala namang nag-intersect, therefore, there is no image formed. Next is case number 5. This is when an object is between V and F1. So, let's do it again. Make sure na panoorin po ng mabuti. As you can see, there is no intersection. But palagi tayong magi extend for us to know if magi intersect pa rin. And ayun po, merong nag-intersect, therefore, andito po yung image. Next, sa properties naman tayo ng image. Saan natagpuan yung image natin na? Okay, ito ay nasa beyond the object or between F1 and 2F1. Sa orientation naman, since hindi nakabaliktad yung image, ito ay upright or erected. Sa size ng image naman, as you can see, it is enlarged. And type of an image is virtual since naka-upright yung image. Ang next naman natin na i-discuss is how images formed in concave lenses. Concave lenses is diverging. So, pag tumama yung light ray sa concave lens, magkakaroon ng pag-diverge. Walang converging na nagaganap, di ba po? Ayan. So, bago tayo magbigay ng example sa pag-locate ng image sa concave lenses, ano po yung napansin nyo sa ray diagram ng concave lenses? Kung mapapansin nyo, same pa rin. Yun nga lang, gumamit lang dito ng 2F2, F2, kasi kailangan niyang tumama sa ating focus or sa ating principal foci. And meron din tayong F1 and 2F1. So again, ano yung rule number 1? The PF ray is an incident ray parallel to the principal axis and is refracted through the focus. And uugaliin lagi natin na mag-extend. So, that is for rule number one. Next rule is, which is same lang naman sa una. Natatama sa optical center or the vertex of the lens. At eto yung kabuuan ng light ray rule under concave lenses. So, let us have an example. For example, here, case number one. 
an object is beyond 2F2. Ray 1 tayo na. Ano po? Incident ray is parallel sa ating principal axis at magda-diverge. Ayan. So, the other one is tatama sa ating optical center. At nagkaroon ng intersection. Therefore, andito yung ating image. So, apply natin ito sa lost or properties ng image. Saan nakalocate yung image? Ito ay nasa between F2 and V or the vertex or the optical center. Ano yung orientation? Ito ay upright. How about the size of an image? This is reduced. And the type of an image is virtual since ang image ay upright. Next case naman is if an object is between 2F2 and F2. Same process lang po sa so panoorin ng mabuti. Kung mapapansin nyo, may nabuong image since nagkaroon ng intersection. So, tingnan natin ang lost. The location of an image is between F2 and the vertex. And the orientation is upright. The size is reduced and the type of an image is virtual. Sa ating concave lens, kung mapapansin nyo ngayon, lahat sila ay pare-pareho yung properties. Ano po? Pero lahat ba ganun ang sagot sa lahat ng kinds ng concave lenses? The answer is no. Because it depends upon the shape of a concave lenses. Diba? Meron tayong plano concave and negative meniscus. Thank you and I hope na marami na naman kayong natutunan ngayong araw, lalo na sa paggamit ng ray diagram para malocate ang images sa convex and concave lenses. Keep safe and have a great day ahead!